Another edition of Todd's Odds with our friend Todd Furman, our sports betting expert, the host of the Best of Awards podcast. And uh, Todd, of course, looking uh, fantastic in this suit hoodie combo, reaching into John Lou's closet to try to upstage me with this turtleneck. Was that the plan? You knew I was going to be wearing a turtleneck, Todd. You said I got upstage on, right? I mean, that's the bottom line, Jay. The more casual you get, I have to take it one step further. So if you go to a T-shirt when we do this segment next week, I might just have to go shirts optional with a beach towel. I'm not sure that's what the viewers want, but contractually obligated to be one step more comfortable than Jay on right when we do Todd's Odds. So get ready for Tarps Off Todd and future editions of Todd's Odds on this program. We're going to get Todd to help us make sense of this convoluted NFC and, NF and AFC playoff race. We're going to begin in the NFC. We want one team that Todd would back to make the postseason right now. You've got a whole bunch of teams, as you can see on our board, sitting at 6-7, and seven, including the Packers in that final wildcard spot. Even Tommy DeVito and the G-Men, Todd, lingering at 5-8. and eight. They're not out of it. So where are you putting your money in the NFC? Uh, I mean, Jay, it feels like every team in the league still has a mathematical path to get to the postseason, unless, of course, you're a fan of the Carolina Panthers. But when you look at the way the NFC is playing out right now, there are actually two teams that stand out to me with nice prices. And we can start with the Atlanta Falcons, uh, a team who let a glorious opportunity slip through their fingers last week against the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. But the Falcons, a very, very winnable game this weekend on the road in Charlotte and a schedule that gives them a path not just to get to the playoffs, but maybe do so as division champions. And another team would be the Los Angeles Rams. Look, I think the Rams' schedule on paper is a little bit more difficult than they're being given credit for. But Matthew Stafford has been outstanding. A little bit unlucky last week, losing 37-31 against the Baltimore Ravens. But I think if you bet both of those teams, the joy of getting good numbers on both of them, if one of them makes the postseason, you're able to be profitable in that NFC playoff picture. Let's try to find some uh, value in the AFC as we look at the situation there. It's just as convoluted. You have two seven and six teams in the second and third wild card spots in the Steelers and Colts, followed by four more teams at seven and six, including the Mafia. Who do you like in the AFC for a little bit of value, Todd? I think a lot of people are going to gravitate towards the Bills, but it's a little bit price prohibitive. If you believe in Buffalo getting hot at the right time, you're better off betting this team on the money line each of the next couple of weeks and rolling that over. It'll be significantly more lucrative than the price being offered at FanDuel. I'm actually going to go to a team that I have made countless disparaging remarks about all season long, and that would be the Pittsburgh Steelers. But this may be the opportunity to buy into Pittsburgh at a price just north of 2-1. to one. I know they're short underdogs on the road this weekend against Indianapolis, but this is what the Mike Tomlin-led Steelers do. They lose games as favorites to inferior teams like they did against the Arizona Cardinals and the New England Patriots, and they perform at their best when nobody expects them to do much of anything. So you look at the schedule with the Colts this weekend, the Bengals next week, a date with the Ravens. Don't rule out the Steelers just yet. I'm willing to back them at a plus 210 to get into the playoffs is a bit of a dark horse in the AFC. And I know uh, your wife is a Steelers fan, so happy wife, happy life. You're really pulling it all together here, Todd. Finally, um, let's take an updated look at the Super Bowl odds brought to you by our friends at FanDuel, the Niners' heavy favorites now, Todd. The Bills, the only team not currently in a playoff position in the top 10 as far as Super Bowl odds. They're at 18-1. to 1. Assuming you aren't yet ready to give us your official Super Bowl pick, and I'm pretty... I'm pretty confident in that assumption. We do like to ask you to eliminate more teams from possible Super Bowl contention until you finally just eliminate them all and get to that Super Bowl pick. <laughs> so who are you adding to your list of teams that won't win it this week? Uh, you know what, Jay? We mentioned the Bills last week. That number cut in half after their win at Arrowhead from 35 to 40 to 1-ish. Now in that 18 to 1 range. So hopefully people gobbled up a little bit of value if they believe in Bill's Mafia and them getting hot at the right time. Jay, this one was easy for me. I'm going to eliminate a team that got absolutely embarrassed on Thursday night football. They lost their starting quarterback. They may very well lose their head coach by the time all of us wake up on Friday morning. But the Los Angeles Chargers have no aspirations of making the playoffs. They are definitely not going to be back at Allegiant Stadium in the middle of February 